Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. Is it weird that my sister-in-law keeps saying I've won the husband lottery about my husband every time I see her? Me and my sister-in-law both married into the Jones family about seven years ago. I married one brother, Jones one, and she married the other brother, Jones two. At the time, Jones too was a successful businessman with charisma and decent looks, but tended to be more prideful and risk-taking. Jones 1, my husband, was more shy and earned a moderate amount, but was also more humble and risk-adverse. My sister-in-law and I became fast friends due to joining the family around the same time. While my relationship with Jones 1 is not perfect, we are always able to talk through our issues and find solutions that both work for us and we get along. My sister-in-law and Jones 2 have been going through a rough patch over the past two years since their third child was born. Some of it has has probably been the stress of having multiple kids, but some of it may also be relationship stress. Jones too doesn't contribute to housework, child rearing, won't agree to marriage counselling, and adds to the kids' mess. Since the beginning of the rough patch, my sister-in-law has commented on how caring and sweet my husband is and how I've won the husband lottery with him. I didn't think anything of it the first time she said this, but she has said this multiple times at this point. Most recently, she's been saying it every time I see her without our husbands even when the conversation has nothing to do with him. Should I be concerned about how often she is saying this or is this just a nice compliment? Oh, okay, this is what it is. Maybe she wants someone to like talk to Jones too about how he's being a little bitch. <laughs> I don't think it's that weird that she's saying that. I feel like she's just sad because the brothers are so different. Like she probably just wishes her husband could be nice, right? <laughs> She wishes her husband could also be there for her. So she's just sad and envious of this person, that's all. Like, I don't think it's that weird. At first, when I read the title, I thought she was trying to put this person down. But after I read the story, that's not the case at all. I just feel like she wishes someone could be there for her like this girl's husband is. And that's kind of sad. Maybe she's indirectly trying to get this person to talk to her husband to talk to Jones too because Jones too ain't doing anything to help her with the housework and like she's just stressed and everything and is adding on to the pile of stress. My girlfriend broke down in tears because I didn't get one item from my grocery list. You know what, I feel like I could relate because if I said it so many times to get something and he doesn't get something, I'd cry too. But let's read the story before judging. We were supposed to have supper, let's say spaghetti with cheese on top. Not really, but I don't want to get too specific. And I didn't get the cheese. Some might say that it ruins the whole dish. Some might not care too much if it's there or not. So we were shopping together and as we're going down the grocery list, I asked my girlfriend if we want cheese. To which she says, no, we finished shopping. Go back home and I start making the dish while she showers. She gets out. I let it simmer for a bit and go shower. Once I get out of the shower and I'm about to serve it, she suddenly asks if we bought cheese. I look at her and say we didn't. I say I even asked her if we should get it and she said no. She says she thought I was asking her about something else. To be fair, what I asked her and what she said she heard is different by one syllable in our language. And both of these could go together with the dish I made. I assume she didn't mishear me. Oh, maybe she thought he said, do you want peas? <laughs> do you want cheese? Do you want peas? I don't know. At this point, she gets up and says she's not going to eat. She got some leftovers from the fridge and went to the other room to eat. That's just immature. Seriously, your boyfriend made you the meal of ready. Just eat it. I figured it's the best to let her be alone for a while. So I ate part of what I made for the evening. After some time, I go to check on her and she's laying in bed crying her eyes out. I was taken aback as this was not a reaction I expected at all. I tried talking to her, but she both refused to eat it without cheese and didn't want me to go and get it now. She was extremely upset and still crying a lot. She told me she was very hungry and didn't eat much throughout the day and now she feels even worse because we went shopping together and then she waited for me to put the dish together but in the end she couldn't even eat it. What is she talking about, man? <laughs> what do you mean you can't eat it? You can eat it, it's just not the taste you were looking for. She earlier said she's going to be sleeping on the couch tonight. If she goes through it, that remains to be seen. I'm wondering what I could do to try and remedy the situation. Do I just let her be? I'm struggling to fully understand her point of view. As for me, it doesn't matter if a particular ingredient is missing or no. To some extent, I see where she's coming from, but not fully. Thoughts? You know what? I feel like it's not even about the cheese. Right. Because sometimes I do have these breakdowns as well, but one thing triggers it. Right. And it's not about the one thing. <laughs> it's about like a thousand little tiny things before the one thing that triggered it. So I just think she's stressed about something and maybe just talk to her about what she's going through. And maybe if she wants to open up to you, she will. 
But it definitely is not about that one ingredient because sometimes you could just be looking forward to something even though you're so stressed out and you're sad about everything else but you're looking forward to that one thing and then that one thing doesn't go well you will just break down. I feel like still try to be there for her even though she tells you that she doesn't want you to be there. I think that's what it is. Like honestly it could be so many other reasons. It could just be that she's immature she's just mad that you didn't get the cheese oh it's that time of the month and her hormones are freaking acting up okay well there's just so many things that she's been sad about and this one just broke her mm -hmm. because seriously the day before i get my period i just cry even the littlest things will make me cry like if i'm mad i cry if i'm sad i cry anything makes me cry and then i get my period and i'm like i knew i wasn't a weak bitch i knew it it was just my period. My fiance and I ended our engagement. Turns out he wasn't even making wedding payments. I'm honestly devastated. My fiance and I decided to end our engagement. We were at a red a robin actually having a great day and I bumped him with my elbow as he was drinking his beer and the glass hit his tooth and I got yelled at in the restaurant. I honestly didn't mean for him to hurt himself. I just hate how he talks to me crazy all the time with no respect. So I kind of inverted into myself and was quiet. That was a problem too. You always have a problem. You are never in a good mood. He hyper fixated on if I hit my tooth, I would act like XYZ. Continuing to make a scene in this restaurant told me I don't know myself on top of a million more things. This issue is the straw that broke the camel's back. The relationship is all about assessing blame, not mutual understanding and respect and I got blamed for every single thing, yet he tells me he walks on eggshells around me. That I need therapy, which I go to. That it's not working, that I don't get along with anyone, not true. Gaslighting 101. I excused myself to the bathroom for a good little cry and had an epiphany that I'm working on myself, but he has convinced himself that all the fault lies within me, to the point where he has nothing to work on. And if I marry him, it would be a lifetime of this crap. I told him that I don't think this is going to work out because the mental gymnastics is getting exhausting. That's freaking crazy. Good on her for knowing herself and knowing him that it ain't gonna work out, seriously. No way they wanted to marry each other when that's the relationship they were having. The whole time he's had a fail safe plan. He told me in the conversation that he didn't make a payment to the venue for this exact reason. So all the while I've been attending therapy and couples counseling session with hopes of getting better, he's already been preparing for it to fail and limiting damage. That's the first time I heard that and I felt it was said in that moment to hurt me even more. Mission accomplished. He said that so he can win. It's all about winning in his eyes. That's crazy. He's like, oh, you want to break up with me? Sure, good thing, because I was really expecting it. Like, I didn't even make a payment. Dude, he sounds like a kid. That's what a kid would say. A kid would always just be like, well, I didn't care. I don't care. I don't care anyways. <laughs> I feel like I was suffocating, so I calmly got up from the dinner table at the restaurant and just started walking home four miles as I cried and began the mourning process. I sent money for my food, and the only message he sent back was that I was $7 short. Again, another jab that he loves to throw. Girl, I don't know why you thought it was a good idea that you were going to marry him anyways, but good on you for knowing now. Honestly, I feel like she just needs to run away from him because that toxic behavior is going to chase her down. <laughs> you know, it feels like he would keep on throwing jabs at her, texting her, oh, you moved away? Good. I never wanted you here in the first place. Like he's just going to keep on sending those messages because his ego just can't handle it. His ego can't handle that he was dumped. So he's always going to be like, I didn't want you anyways. <laughs> so yeah, people, you can either date someone that if you hurt them accidentally, they will shout at you and go crazy. Or you can date someone who would just be like, it's fine. I'm okay. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.